Welcome to another edition of Inside the Film Room. I'm Paul Dottino. He is Sean O'Hara. Today we want to talk about Giants defensive end Romeo Okwara, a guy who got a lot of playing time at the end of the season, and he has shown some pass rush skills off the edge. Yeah, he's shown a lot of great tools, and I think everybody wanted to know, how are you going to replace JPP when he went down? Well, Okwara did a great job of stepping in, both in the run game and the pass game. The first play we're going to take a look at, Paul, it looks like a run play out of the gate. You're going to see Joe Looney right here, the extra offensive lineman. All right, so right out of the gate, Aquara is looking at this and saying, this is probably going to be a run. They brought in an extra offensive lineman. They're going motion with Jason Witten. Everything looks and feels like run, and it turns out to be a pass. So right now, Aquara, he's initially starting the contact with, with a great jam, but now he's got to transition into a pass rusher. And you can see with his left hand, he does a great job of prying Joe Looney's hips open right there. And by getting his hips open right there, and now all of a sudden his hips are going north-south instead of east and west, he can initiate his pass rush move. And Aquara does a great job with the rip move right there and really just staying aggressive, and he, he's rewarded with a sack. But that right there is a tough play for defensive end because you've got to recognize the play, whether it's run or pass, and then you've got to transition right in the middle of it. I thought he did a great job. He showed he's got a great motor, and he really is a very physical defensive end. Okay, Sean, now on this next play, the former Notre Dame product shows a little bit of athleticism in his own blitz. Yeah, Steve Spagnuolo loves to, to ask his defensive ends to do a lot of things, rush a pass or stop the run. Now he's dropping in coverage, not something he did a lot of in college, I'm sure, but he does a great job with his awareness. And you'll see on this play, he's lined up at the top of the screen in a three-point stance, and on the snap, he drops right into coverage. But look at him looking around and trying to see, okay, where are my receivers? He feels that one receiver go by, and now everything is in front of him. And he's just reading the quarterback's eyes. Now, this is where most defensive ends would probably panic a little bit. Now you're in a lot of space. <laughs> Look at how much room is around him and how much room is around this running back right here. And he does a great job of making an open field tackle. Not something a lot of defensive ends do, but you could see how nervous you would be as a defensive end. A lot of space to the sideline, and this is a third down stop right here. So a great job by Aguara running his legs through that tackle, uh, of being aware of the situation, of being aware of where his help was coming from. A great play in space for him, a big defensive end. For Sean O'Hara, I'm Paul Latino, and this has been Inside the Film Room.